Start here first with Vladislav Nemesnikov. Is there a stat update on his status? And second, when you look at today in terms of everything that went wrong, how would you describe what you saw in terms of why things maybe didn't go the way they, the way things went for you? Well, with Vlad, he's at the hospital being, uh, you know, looked at right now. So that, that's all I have until we get a report from the, what, what they see, what's wrong. In terms of the rest of your question. The problems are self-inflicted. You want to take penalties. You want to play a three-quarter race game. You're playing right into their hands. So our, our issues are self-inflicted. You saw us play the right way for 10 minutes in the second half of that first period. And then you play, and then, uh, you, you know, you take four penalties. You turn the puck over. That's exactly how they want to play. So it, the issues are self-inflicted. Rick, your players spoke to discipline like you did as well, but they also sort of spoke to the idea that they've made adjustments, they've made tactical changes, and that you guys haven't. Mark Scheifele repeated that twice. I'm wondering what you're seeing in terms of needing to adjust. Well, first thing, you only have to stay out of the penalty box, and then the penalty kill has to do the job. Second thing, well, we have to start, stop, turn the puck over. So, uh, again, that, those things are self-inflicted. You want adjustments, stay out of the box, manage the puck better, and then go from there. Um, yeah adjustments before the game. I know Jonsson Fjabi was brought in to kill penalties. He didn't kill penalties. I think his ice time was zero there. And then he ended up on the second line. So what uh, what went into that? He didn't play. He only played a couple of shifts, second line. Well, the, the penalty killers were doing a really good job the first couple. They, they did. And then I had him going out there. The other one, he, they scored. He was ready to go back out there. So I just didn't get him out. But the first two of the penalty killers did a great job. So we let them go at it. Um, yeah. There are some similarities, at least on the scoreboard, between this year and last year. It's 3-1 after you guys won the first game of the series. Where, uh, where are the levels of pushback in your mind? How ready are you guys to make the push? Well, the only thing that matters is winning Tuesday night. So we'll, we'll, that's, a, that's the measuring stick. There's your pushback. See how hard we go. So we win Tuesday. We go from there. So all our focus right now is that. Last one for me. I thought uh, Connor Hellebuck played absolutely great, and I'm, I'm wondering what went into the pull and then the shifts in the third. Give him a break. <laughs> Give him a break. It was too much. Uh, it was just too much time, and you know he was having to make save after save. So yeah, just giving him a break. That's not on him whatsoever. It's on the players in front of him. A, a lot of changes in the lines there. What are you trying to find, and are you anywhere close to finding it? Well, uh, just trying to find some consistency from the offense. We got a goal tonight from Nate Schmidt, and um, we, we've got to get some offense. So I'm just trying to ignite the, reignite the offense. Said this team is excited to go in Tuesday and try and prove itself. Um, what, what does this team lean on to give it hope at this stage? Well, but just playing like we did for that last 10 minutes of the first period. We were playing hard. We were playing aggressive. We were playing the way we want to play. And then you take penalties, and all of a sudden you lose all your momentum. It's the penalties took us out of the game again. It did. We lost our flow. We lost. Uh, we guys are sitting on the bench, and we do, we just. That's what I mean when I say it's self-inflicted. Rick, on the subject of penalties, is it Colorado speed that's causing some of those? Is it yeah. just a frustration with your group, like Nino's penalty near the end of the second? Was that just frustration? And it seems uncharacteristic, uh, a leader like that, to take that kind of penalty. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, self-inflicted. They're, they're, listen, they're playing great, they're coming at us with a ton of speed, no question. But we, we seem to be able to handle it fine in the first uh, the second half of the first period. So we play like that. We'll, we'll, that's the way we want to play. Penalties Talk took us out of the game. You talk about looking for more offense. You've got a guy like Cole Perfetti who had 19 goals and finished strong. Is he a player you would at least be looking we'll, we'll at? We'll make some lineup changes. Last one, Rick. Rick, just simply, how do you feel your best players played in this game? Yeah, um, listen, when you, when you lose and you score one goal, um, you know, they're out there trying. They had some good looks. Uh, we hope for, the, for them that, that we're going to need them to produce Tuesday night. There's, there's no question. Just lastly, when you got a power play with about six minutes left in the game, was there any inclination to pull your goalie, or were you hoping that maybe you get a goal well, so that you can get the, another two? I was kind of waiting to see how it went, but that power play looked really good, and they were getting chances. So uh, you pull them with six minutes to go. You, you know, we scored a power play goal last game, and that power play was the best we looked at. So I kind of just let it go, um, but that was a thought. 
And if the, if the first half of that power play was really bad, then yeah, we would have called a timeout right there, pulled the goalie and try to get something going. But that power play looked really good, and their goalie made good saves. Thank you guys. Thanks. Thanks.